Hi guys, welcome to my baseball tutorial. I am currently setting down my paint colors. I am using white, a dark brown, red, um, a golden yellow, and I'm also going to be using burnt sienna, which is like a red brown, and also a cool gray. I didn't end up using that color too much, so don't get too crazy if you don't have that. Um, setting down white as well. And then what I do have is a 4-inch uh, Santorini square here. It does have a crack in it because I accidentally dropped it and <laughs> it broke and so I super glued it on. I'm using a cup to create my circle, which is going to be the baseball here at this bottom corner. Um, just filled it in with a pencil. And what I'm doing is I am painting the um, inside of the baseball white. And I am adding a little bit of water because right now I'm about to blend in some of that golden yellow. Um, but for right now, I'm just kind of um, drawing in where my baseball lines are going to be. It's not perfect, but um, I can fix that later on. And right now I am tapping in some golden yellow. Uh, I'm just doing it in certain areas. The light is going to be coming in from the left, so I'm trying to keep... Um, the left area a little bit more white than the right uh, in between each section and I did use a dry brush to go ahead and tap in that golden brown and I'm also using a dry brush here to go ahead and tap in um, the burnt sienna so that it blends in a little bit better uh, I'm gonna make like a little V shape here uh, create just kind of like the shape of the ball um, this is burnt sienna going in straight with no mixing and uh, a little bit of a darker brown. I am using again a dry brush so that I can go ahead and tap it in, blend it in. And I did this all while, while the white was still a little bit wet. Uh, this darker corner over here is going to be obviously the furthest away from the light. So it's going to be the darkest uh, section of the baseball. And I'm just going back into adding a little bit of white because uh, I did lose some of that when I was blending it in. Um, this gives it like an old, vintage, dirty feel where it's not a complete uh, white baseball. So I'm going to go in with a fine liner. And I do have uh, the dark umber is the correct name for it. But it just any, you know, dark brown will do. And I'm going to create like a little axe, pickaxe type of shape up here. Um, so that it sure shows the curvature of the ball. Like the indent of where the brown line is going to be going and I'm adding in a little bit more shading uh, over here to the left going to add in my second line do the little pickaxe shape up here at the top to give it a little bit more of a curve so it's not just a straight line I'm going in with black and a fine liner to add the dots um, honestly I probably should have put them a little bit further apart but it is what it is <laughs> I am not perfect. Uh, just kind of, you know, putting the dots next to each other, going down the line. Add as many or as little as you want. I am going to shade the left side um, here with some white. The white does have a little bit of water added onto it to make it easier to blend out and kind of thin it out a little bit. And um, so I did the both of the left sides on that one. And over here, i um, also going to do the left side of where the... Uh, dots are I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that goldenrod yellow with some brown and kind of just uh, this baseball is a lot of layering of colors and shading because I didn't want to go in too heavy with the paint so that I would be able to pull it back and I'm just using a dry brush to kind of spread that out a little bit more and going uh, into the inter inner corner here of where the line is and also shading on this uh, right side of this dotted line and what I'm gonna do is I'm ground and grab a little bit of cool gray and some white and just kind of not even add too much honestly just a little bit to give it a little bit of a blue hue because um, that does a really nice contrast with the yellow and going to add a little bit more of that um, dark brown and goldenrod yellow to the uh, baseball here watered down and what I'm gonna do is I did not like how bright that red was I didn't want it to look too cheesy I guess so I did mix it in with a little bit of brown and you'll notice that as I am putting down the lines one the left side is a little bit higher than the right side and that's intentionally um, 
just because they go into the baseball if you ever look at an actual baseball and it's not like looped across um so you do want to make sure that one looks a little bit slightly raised uh over the other and what i'm doing is i'm honestly just dabbing in a little bit of watered down black with some dark brown um around the center area here going into the red to give it more depth like make it look a little bit more 3d um and then i'm also going to get some blue so that i could start working on this background here while the baseball dries honestly looking back on this background i probably i might have done something different if you guys do something different with the background let me know um i kind of didn't end up liking how it, it, it came out i like the way the baseball came out not the background but anyway i i wanted to look like i, I wanted to think of something like american baseball is american you know fourth of july type of rock fireworks exploding here in the back um you know with like a little star spangled banner quote i i just wanted to give it some sort of like patriotic feel and i don't know baseball to me just seems like the american you know sport so i'm just blending in some uh a little bit of white up here to lighten up this blue um i started off with dark blue and i'm blending it up towards the top so that it's a little bit lighter up top where the, the light from the firework is going to be showing just using water and dry brushes to go back pat it down blend it in um and then right here what i'm doing is i am adding a little bit of white onto those red laces just honestly little little tiny tiny strokes little tiny tiny dots on the red um to give it you know a little bit of a different color and just gonna add a little bit more brown here because i didn't think that it I, I felt like it wasn't dark enough patting it in um a little bit more dark over here patting it in uh, as you look at your baseball you'll kind of start to see like where you want to you know give it a little bit of um a dirtier look and practice your layering also with your water and your acrylic this is all done in acrylic by the way until the end um is when i I go ahead and I add watercolor into it so I went ahead and I got my fine liner brushes and I'm gonna add some green grass here um, looking back on it now I did mess up right here <laughs> I uh, the the green that I painted on the baseball should have been darker and not so translucent because grass is not translucent so um, if you're gonna do it just go ahead and use a darker green i could not for the life of me find the darker green that i had so i'm using this like semi-bright green and going over it with a light yellow green as well so that it kind of you know gives it some grass in the back and then grass up in the front right here what i'm doing is i put a lot of water into some white and into some golden yellow so that it would water it down and make it easier to kind of spout it out in a circle um to give it that glow and I'm just going to tap it in, tap, 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 uh, add a little bit more of a thicker color because the water down for me was just not visible enough. I added way too much water. So just tap it in, create kind of like a little, you know, ray up there of just light. And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some of the golden yellow with a little tiny, tiny little bit of white to brighten it up. And I'm going to start doing the outside rays of the firework just strokes here and there they don't have to be all the same length i would prefer them to not be the same length um you know just spouting out this way that way uh kind of circling around the center here so that eventually it meets up with a white uh middle and so here i'm going in with mostly white um and just keep your strokes like very light so like you're barely like scratching the surface with your brush keep your hand um you know a little bit elevated above the rock don't let it rest heavy because if not your strokes are just gonna come out like thick blobs and this is the end for this if you don't have any type of glitter any type of acrylic you want to keep it just basic then that's where you would end your rock um and but what i did was i went in with some uh, watercolor to kind of give it a shimmer because i just love to add shimmer to all of my rocks i created a little halo up here at the top 
um, using some of the white from the unicorn shimmer that Wanda sells. And this is a gold. I don't know from what set, but Katie sent it to me as an extra and I loved it. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing. And um, I, I used to use Deco Art uh, 24K gold and that was my go-to gold but now this is this is the one okay so my audio got cut off but this is what i ended up doing i ended up adding this quote at the end and a couple of red dots all around i would probably keep the red dots and scratch the quote or maybe do a different quote or maybe just not have my lettering because i suck at it um but yeah let me know if you guys try this out and um tag me if you do